Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to carry out Pythagoras in right angled isosceles triangles. So an isosceles triangle is a, a triangle with two equal sides or two equal angles. Okay, so let's have a look at the first example then. So we've got a right angled triangle. We've got two sides which are 7 and we're after side length x which is the longest side of our right angle triangle because it's opposite the right angle okay so we just need to carry out Pythagoras on this so first step then is to square the sides that we've got so 7 squared is 49 the other side is also 7 so that's 7 squared is also 49 so we can then add these together so 49 add 49 is 98 and then our final step is to square root 98. So the square root of 98 is 9.9 .9 to one decimal place. Okay, so let's have a look at our second example. This one's a little bit harder to do. Uh, because we're after the shorter sides this time. Okay, so if we follow our steps though, and it should be fairly similar to the first one. So what I did was I squared the sides. So we square y, which is y squared. We square the other y, which is y squared. Now if we add these together, that will be equal to 11 squared. So 2 y squared will be equal to 11 squared. So 11 squared is 121. So this is the equation which we've got to solve then. And we need to do two opposites. We need to do the opposite to a square and the opposite to times 2. Uh, first of all divide by 2. So 121 divided by 2 is 60.5 and then we just need to square root that 60.5 so the square root of 60.5 is 7.8 centimeters to one dp so i hope you liked this video if you did like and subscribe thanks for watching guys bye bye